wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 17th of February, getting ready to get on the Silver Sea. Silver Cloud for 10 days from Cape Town to Cape Town on our first getaway here in South Africa. But uh, still got a lot of great wines here to sell you at the Wine Watch, including the new releases from Giuseppe Quintarelli, the godfather of the Piedmont, one of my favorite producers on earth. And wine is one of those things that brings you back to a time in your life when you first experienced that bottle of Valpolicella 1990, I remember where we were in Washington, D.C. at a restaurant when I ordered my favorite bottle of wine, the Bride of Brico Uccellone. I just like to say that. My wife, Tony, actually we were getting married on this trip, and the waiter said, I, uh, we do not have that wine. Uh, may I recommend uh, Giuseppe Quintarelli 1990 Valpolicella? And the rest is history. These wines are magical. Giuseppe Quintarelli was selling wine in cast to the U.S., 50, 60 years ago, 100 years ago, and uh, one of the benchmark producers, not only in the Veneto, but in the world. Fortunately, he's no longer with us, but his next of kin is, they're taking care of the show. I remember our visit there, everything done by hand, the labels put on by hand, and um, he's got these big, huge Slavonian oak vats, and on them they're labeled Amarone slash Recciotto, and the woman who showed us around was so nice, I said, oh, what does this mean? Is that Amarone or Recciotto? She says, well, the fermentation takes us so long. Some of the vats, she doesn't know whether they're going to be Recciotto or Amarone until the fermentation finishes. And this magical elixir known as Recciotto, whew, the dessert-style wine from this producer, incredibly, incredible. The Amabile Bandito, incredibly rare. We may have a bottle or two on this offering, but the Valpolicella, the Primo Fiore, everything that this producer does is at the highest level of quality. We get everything they make. We get magnums. Um, we haven't had a three liter in a while, but we did get three liters in the past. And uh, you know, when I like a wine, we get it in all sizes. I made even my half bottles, but Quintarelli does not make them other than in dessert wine, uh, which we do have in the store. And the Amarone, the current release, the 2008, we got 2008, uh, 2006, 2005, uh, Rosso Cato Merlo, which is a single vineyard Valpolicella, pretty much the exact same thing as the Valpolicella. These wines both have this incredible potpourri, floral aroma to them, this wonderful red cherry fruit, uh, and just that essence of what the Valpolicella is all about. And you get that little clay kind of Play-Doh minerality, something I say that the wines of Amarone remind me of. But I'll tell you, everything on this offering, Magic, check it out, all the new releases, and everything that we've got in the store, we've got an incredible collection from the godfather of Veneto, Giuseppe Quintarelli. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.